Good evening. So, this is not a start of a new series. It's just something that I thought it would be fun to do um, because it's spooky season. I think we're only going to be doing two of this like type of videos. Yeah. So tonight we're going to be talking about our experience with paranormal, paranormal. paranormal activities. Yeah, paranormal, because, I mean, it's something that you can't explain, so it, yeah. it's right. considered para paranormal. Right. We'll be telling our paranormal stories while I repot this, this beauty. So, while I do this, I guess we can, uh, we can talk about, like, the background of why we're doing this. Oh, I... I'm not superstitious. I'm not superstitious. I'm I, not. I think you are a little bit more than me. I mean, yeah, I, I can't. Like when we're driving and then when I have my music on, I don't like it when the volume stays on number 13. Like I have to go either 14 or 12. I did not know that, actually. I, I told you once and then you were like, babe, you're weird. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not super superstitious at all. Uh, I mean, I grew up religious. But, Same. Um, I lost, or I didn't. I guess I. We gave our souls to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just, I decided not to follow religion anymore, like, around the age of 14, 15. I was like, you know what, I don't, yeah, anyways. But yeah. I believe in science. Because I only believe in science. <laughs> Watch where you're poking, you're gonna cut yourself. <laughs> well, for me, like, growing up in Indonesia, um, if you go to, like, a, a, like a lot of buildings in Indonesia, especially like Chinese owned buildings, you won't see the number three or you won't see the number four, I believe. Mm. I think it's either four or three, but you'll see like one, two, A, two, B to skip that number because it's bad luck. Huh. I'm not superstitious, but there, there has stuff, there has been stuff that has happened to me that I cannot explain. Um, I mean, I'm pretty it's, sure it's like that with everyone. Yeah, some people, some people maybe not. I do believe in ghosts, though. I know some no, people don't. I don't. For me, I do. I think ghosts are a real thing, or like well, spirits then what, are that a make real. You superstitious thing? then? Shit. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I like you know, like the whole don't walk underneath ladders or like you'll get bad luck if there's a black cat that walk in front of you you'll have bad luck type of deal like for me i don't believe that at yeah. least like I, it's not relevant relevant for me so yeah like for example uh i guess i'll start um for me my parents are a little bit more super superstitious um but they're not super religious um, I think honestly, I think superstition is tied to religion, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, or culture, or culture. Yeah, um, I'll start with mine. My with my parents, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Mexico for almost half half of my life, and um, basically, my you know, my parents would have me sleep close to them um because obviously i didn't have a crib or anything like that uh, until i grew a little bit older than then that's when they you know decided to buy like a separate bed so uh, you co-sleep with your parents yeah i co-sleep with my parents and um basically um they mentioned to me that one night uh they in mexico i guess well, is that how i'm supposed to do it i <laughs> That's gonna make a mess. I know. I just, yeah, I think that was. <laughs> you can try. Yeah. Parents uh, mentioned to me that 
one night they you know which is is apparently a like big thing in mexico where people would hear witches and like where witches would scratch like walls or like the the ceiling um and where they would take kids because of you know their soul being like like pure. delicious nah, pure <laughs> delicious for oh them God. well the i don't i don't know your souls why, are delicious or or, or yeah i don't know exact the exact reason why <laughs> but um that's basically what they they said that um um Yeah, that, you know, one night um, when they were sleeping, um, all of a sudden I just, like, you know, appeared at the very bottom of of the bed. Um, like, like you slipped close. down. Yeah, I slipped down, apparently. And I think my dad said that he hurt, like, scratches or something like that on the, on the, on the ceiling ceiling um, yeah on the ceiling and this is a concrete ceiling like this is not like here in america where you have you know wood ce uh uh roof or anything like that um but like uh, apparently they my my mom and my dad heard scratches you know on concrete basically so you can just kind of get an idea as to you know what that sounds like i don't believe it was true just because like when Sometimes when Zoe would stay with us, she moves a lot. That one time, she actually ended up on our feet as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, who knows? A lot of people say, and here's the thing. There's obviously a lot of stray cats. And when cats cry, it it does sound it's, terrifying. Yeah. It no, it's not, when, it's not actually, cats when cry. They're, they're, when, when they're in heat. When they're in heat, when they're yeah. mating, it sounds, it sounds like... Very, very Terrifying. like screaming babies yeah yeah so that, that, there's a bunch of cats that would be on the on the roof of the houses you know because in mexico the, the you know most of the roofs are are flat so they're able to get on top of the roof and just kind of jump across and you know all that other stuff so yeah that's that's one of the <laughs> the other one would be when i was about five to six years old i think we were staying at um, a friend's house and um they had a, a basement uh bedroom you know and obviously i was staying there basically the bed was on this side my parents were sleeping on this side on the on a separate bed and then there was a, a little door but it was it was a very odd door because it was one of those like kitchen doors that has like a, a round Cut off. Huh? Yeah, I don't know why they had that, but it had like I remember clearly. Wait, what, that what's had, a kitchen door? You know the kitchen doors have round cutoffs so they can see, like when they open. Oh, That's, like in restaurants. Yeah, like a restaurant. Okay, okay, kitchen, okay, okay. Restaurant doors. Sorry. All right, because I was thinking of like residential but, kitchen area. I was like, there, there are doors. There are some people that have it like that. True. I was in the basement. I was sleeping, and then all of a sudden, I felt like something pulled my covers all the way down and that one actually till this day is a little bit uh like it freak you out it does uh, not freak me out but it does make me wonder what it was just because for example like if if you're covered with the duvet you know it's on top of you in order for you to like push it all the way down you have to like literally and even then it won't go all the way down And I didn't feel like I moved my hands or anything. Mm. I just felt like it was like it was pulled, pulled from you. Yeah. So I I freaked out. I woke up, and I look. I remember looking at the at the at the cutoff of the door, but not seeing anything. Um, I mean, I managed to go back to sleep again. But you're it, brave. It did take me a little bit. Well, I was a little bit brave because my parents were next to me. Oh, so, and I still wouldn't. I think. Yeah. Especially when I was that age, I, I want to wake up everyone, make sure everyone will hold me yeah. while I sleep until I fall asleep. So that that was another another one of my scary instances. scary in instances. Another one, I guess, that's sort of short. Um, when I used to live again in Mexico, and um, there's this uh, I guess legend 
Would you would call it? Legend? Would, or Yeah, legend. Yeah, the legend. Or a myth? No, not a myth. Well, like, Folklore? There's this, uh, like, person dragging chains, basically, across, like, the streets. And one time, um, uh, what's it called? I, I was sleeping um, next to my my uncle when we're like what like almost seven years six years difference i was like nine and he was around 15. so um i was staying at my grandparents and we both heard that the chain yeah that somebody was dragging chains are you sure it's not just like some rando it was in the middle of the night well it could be someone who's like drunk or something no this sounded like chains because even then even he freaked out a little bit why would a drunk person I don't chains. know. I'm just trying to de de escalate the situation. <laughs> I think she's getting scared. I think she's getting scared. But I mean, that one is really spooky. Yeah. So that I mean, that's part of my paranormal activity happenings. Uh, happenings, I guess. Uh, another one that's I guess it's part of the paranormal, but I do believe in it a lot more. I think we uh, both do. Yeah, which is uh, UFO sighting. Um, my <laughs> my <laughs> parents were coming back home from from visiting my grandma from my mom's side, and I was staying at my uncle's. Uh, we were watching a soccer game. I remember that clear uh, that we were watching a soccer game um, on my grandma's uh, television, and. Um, my parents arrived. We we used to have like this uh, crossbreed. I think it was like a, a bulldog with a what do you what do you call those other ones? Pit bull. With a pit bull. I think no, not a bulldog. It was like a it was a pit pit bull mix. Pit bull mix, mix with yeah, something. Yeah, mix with something. It wasn't. It's a, a mutt. Yeah, it's a mutt basically. <laughs> and um, my parents got home. Um, my grandma's house was on this like a few you know houses uh from where my parents house was so i would say like three or four houses away um and when they got home um the dog that we had at the time was barking like crazy and just like barking 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 and looking towards the sky barking like non-stop non-stop and like my my dad was like hey be quiet you know like why are you barking so much but like the dog wouldn't stop, you know, like obviously when you scold, you know, uh, your dog and they're like, okay, I, I, I'll stop or whatever. But this was constant, like he felt threatened, basically. The the dog felt threatened. Um, and my, my dad and my mom were like, why is he looking up in the sky and like barking like constantly and everything? And uh, my parents looked up and they saw I know it sounds funny, but it, they literally saw your typical UFO. UFO like the saucer and everything. Yeah, where it has the little dome, and then like you can see the you know the outer part, and then the little feet. It, it was it was very 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 weird, but it was like your typical you know like the ones you saucer. see in cartoons. Yeah, in a way, the ones that you see in cartoons, similar to that, uh, as as you know as I remember from the from the video. Um, my parents at the time had one of those old school cameras that you put on your shoulder. So it was a it was a pretty professional grade or mid, uh, what would you call it? Like Semi-professional. Semi-professional uh, camera. So it wasn't like, uh, yeah, obviously it was a cassette, you know, uh, video camera, but it, you could ha it had zoom and everything and the little eyepiece and all that other mumble jumble. So, um, it was it was pretty capable of like recording you know from far away um, my mom ran inside and grabbed it um, they even actually recorded on top of my sister's uh, baptism video that they had because obviously their... UFO is more important than a <laughs> baptism video first of all <laughs> it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience I mean, I, yeah <laughs> so you know they recorded the whole thing and then after that um they came by to pick me up and they were like hey guess what happened like they were they were a little concerned like we saw this and that like i don't know if it's real or not but like they wanted to watch it on the tv so they put it on the on the cassette player uh you know back in the day <laughs> the cassette player 
And uh, that seems so ancient. It does seem ancient, but they they decided to put the the tape inside the the VHS VHS player. And uh, when they were playing it, it like I said, it looked like your typical UFO that is portrayed on you know back in the '90s and all that stuff. Um, that thing, honestly, was I think it was something real because basically they you know it was the they were recording it, it was pretty steady it wasn't zoomed in all the way uh so they were able to capture it like a you know like a, i don't know pretty pretty steady big or... enough pretty big enough but it kept on like moving like really really fast it kept on moving really fast from like just random directions uh you know at some point my parents kind of lost it for a little bit then they were able to find it again um, they zoomed in a little bit more, and that's when you can see a little bit more of the details of, of the I und I identified uh, like flying object. Flying object. Um, I don't know if it was aliens or not. Do you think they were out on a field trip? Uh, <laughs> if you look to your right, you'll see Mexico. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't know, but um, yeah, that was one of the one of the things that. Uh, that happened and then um yeah all of a sudden it just like it literally just disappeared like it you can see it like fly outside so, you know like towards, the towards space. yeah towards space basically like you you could clearly see on the tape that it was it just started moving and then all of a sudden boom it just disappeared and then the dog li like literally completely stopped barking after that oh my gosh so like throughout the tape, you can hear, you know, the, the, the dog the barking dog like barking crazy and barking and barking. And it, it, he like there was nobody around, you know, like there literally was nobody around that that they were like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm barking at this person or whatever. Right. No, there was nothing. So that's that's one of the um, <laughs> one of the ones that I still remember. And to this day, we actually don't even know where the tape is, um, which is a shame because I actually wanted to digitize it, but we don't know where the tape. We want to be famous. It's not that. I just. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I just want to. You want to go viral? Oh my god! I just, I just want to see it again because I, I mean. No, I want to you know, see back, it. Back, back, back. My basically in the back of my head, that memory is like very vivid. That, right. But I still. It's so real that I don't believe it. Too good to be true. Too, yeah, it was it, literally the footage was too good to be true. So we yeah we couldn't find find the footage anymore. Um, but it, it's somewhere, somewhere either the trash or somewhere else. I don't know. I guess another one that's uh, it's a bon so, This one is a bonus story. This is not so PG thirteen. So uh, if a child is listening. Get yeah, out. Get out. <laughs> uh, you know, when I was dating Maddie, uh, or when we were dating, uh, we were um, at a park, you know, doing adult things. <laughs> and then uh, it was pretty dark. It was near a park. Um, and But there was a few lights, you know, here and there, but not completely lit. So, you you know, you could not really see that well. But you can, you could see across where, like, if a car is coming, then you're able to notice, or if somebody's coming, you're able to notice. Um, so we were going at it, obviously, <laughs> and um, out of the like the corner of my eye, I managed to see a big tall shadow. And like I said, I'm not superstitious, but. That freaked the hell out of me. That I was like, babe, 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 get off, get off. Like she was like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? I was like, just just get off, let's go, let's go, let's go. Cause it it it, it was so weird because there was this tree, and then I saw the shadow and it kind of wrapped itself around the shadow. I mean around the it, around it wrapped the around the tree. Like it dis it, it sort of disappeared. It was not a car or anything like that it was like not a person because the the shadow was pretty tall and thin it was it was it was it was creepy so i was like you know what let's let's get out of here and after that night i was like yeah let's just go home like i didn't we went home and 
Yeah. We went home almost right away, and he was like so freaked out. I was. Freaked he didn't out. tell me what happened until we were like out at of home. the park. Yeah. Um. No, I almost at home. I yeah. Think. And so we were at home, and I, I was like, "Babe, what happened?" And he was like, "Later, I'll tell you later." I was like, "Babe, what happened?" And I was like so concerned, and then I was like, "I'll just tell, just just get." Out. I was still like in the back seat too. Yeah. And he just sort of like just, he jumped to the front I, seat yeah, and he and just started my my truck, and then the, I had a truck back then, and then. Just ye yeet it out like the younglings say. Yeet it out. <laughs> I was like, nope, I ain't, <laughs> nope. So far, that's. I mean, that I can remember, honestly, those are my most vivid, un, you know, unknown things that have happened to me. Right. Um, other than that, I mean, nothing, nothing major. Like, oh my gosh, I see a dead person or type of like that. No, it's mainly just like either coincidence or not or i don't know but the one that i do believe the most is that shadow and the ufo mm -hmm. well obviously and the cover one the one that happened to me as a baby not so much what uh, do you mean yeah because I, I, I mean my parents swear that that it happened and that they they, they heard like screaming and scratching screaming and yeah. scratching yeah Look, I, in fact, one of the things that they do in Mexico is that they put water underneath your bed and then they put scissors, like, forming across a pyramid. No way. To, like, basically, like... To uh, ward off the evil spirit? Off, yeah. Oh, my God. No, that is creepy. That's that's really creepy. When we were living in Mexico, I had, a uh, like, a bowl of water underneath my, my, my bed. Really? Yeah. And I found it once. I was like, why is it there? And they were like, oh, it's just... For protection. Yeah, apparently. Oh, my God. So, who knows? I, like I said, I, I, I never really believed in it. And I don't see weird things. You know? But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. It's still creepy. It's oh, yeah. It's still very scary. So, my turn, right? Okay. I actually have a bunch. I have a bunch of, um, like story about like strange things happening some are my story and some that i heard from like other people that actually knew in real life um my uncles um just yeah people in general like um my uncle's friends my friends um but tonight i'm gonna talk about my experience um okay let's start with um, okay so when I was around, I want to say, I think I was, I think I was like 13 or 14. Um, my sister and I, we, my older sister and I, we shared rooms and our room is located right in front of our bathroom. And um, the way it's laid out. So this is the door, like, so this is the door my younger sister's room bathroom and then there's a study room over here and then on this wall my mom plays um our old dresser my older sister and my old dresser one night i was like i was asleep i was dead asleep and i just woke up out of nowhere i just woke up and then i was like i need to pee and I was like, eh, I, like, I kind of don't want to, but at the same time, like... <laughs> kind of don't want to? <laughs> you know when, when that happens, like, oh you're, like, so deep in sleep and you're, like, so comfy and, like, you wanted to pee, but it's like, oh, I'm too lazy to get up. Well, it was that. And then I was like, you know what? <sighs> Screw it. I'm just going to go. So I did. I went, I went to the bathroom and then I, you know, peed and whatnot, washed my hands, and then walked back to my room. So, again bathroom room right so i was walking back to my room and then i just saw a tall figure a shadow like leaning onto like the dresser that i had maybe that's the shadow that i saw. shut up <laughs> what if what if it followed you <laughs> what okay it Look, I, I've never... Okay, so I've, I've, I've heard of, like, the Slender Man, and I saw it online, like, before we even met. But I was like, okay, whatever, you know? Like, I... Yeah. Like, it, it never really got to me or anything. But 
I, I, it wasn't like in the back of my mind or anything. I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious though. Like, <laughs> you, now that you, you're telling me this, like, what if? What what if it's actually not a bad thing and it's actually oh like, no what, what over you? What, what do you mean looking over me? You never know. Okay, so here's the thing with humans, right? They're they're fearful of the unknown. But what if that thing is not really trying to hurt you, but other than trying to help you? What if? Continue. <laughs> anyway, so saw the shadow. <laughs> saw the shadow. <laughs> Am I sleeping on the couch tonight? <laughs> no, no, you are not. <laughs> you are not leaving me alone. <laughs> I saw the shadow. The shadow was doing this. Like I, like I, you can really tell that he, w it was doing this. And at first, I was like, I thought I was still asleep, though, right? Or maybe I was half asleep or whatever. I don't know. But I was walking. I looked right at it. And then I just kind of like looked away. And then I was like, whoa. What the heck? And then I looked back at it. And it was gone. So I don't know if I was like. If I was still in like dreaming state or. Yeah. But that happened. And I was like, huh. Weird. So I never really like think about it again after um after some years right yeah and um now i won't i won't be able to stop thinking about it anyways uh <laughs> <laughs> where's the small one <laughs> anyways fast forward to like a few years after um my dad had an accident at home uh where he fell from the second floor um so the way my room is, like I said, so my my room door and then my sister's room door is like this, right? The room inside, it's connected like that. And then this space right here, in a way, it it's like, it's like an, it's not really an hacienda, but like it has like an open space that goes all the way up yeah. from like the first, the first floor. Um my dad wanted to clean um i don't even know what he was trying to clean but he decided to play spider-man and instead of like hiring someone to clean whatever he needed to clean or he wanted to clean and he put this like metal bar across so this is the space I right it was a ladder. no it was not a ladder it was just like a metal bar I'm telling you, he was trying to play play Spider Man. Um, so this is like the open space, and then he put the bar across like that, and the bar shifted, and he fell. He fell, hit his head, um, he broke his toes. Um, I don't remember what else he broke, but it was it was a huge thing because um, like my mom and I, my mom, my sister, and I, we were at church, and I think somebody called my mom. And, um, I just, yeah, I, I didn't know anything until my uncle told me, my uncle was like, Hey, there, something happened to your dad. He was in an accident. Now he's in the, so I was with a freak. I, I started crying and whatnot. I just saw my mom crying, her and her friends, um, or her friends were like trying to, um, comfort her, but like she was crying. I was crying. My sister was crying. And so it was like a whole day, right? It was a super long day. We got to the hospital, saw my dad, and then my mom, both my mom and I, we went home. I think that night, I don't know why, but that night my mom decided to stay, like to not stay at the hospital. She went home with us and um, she said she was gonna come back the next day. Or I think my dad was like, no, it's fine. You don't have to stay or whatever. Um, so we went home. My mom asked, hey, any of you girls want to keep me company tonight, like in my room, like to sleep with me tonight? And I was like, yeah, I'll sleep with you. Because I honestly, personally, their bed is like the best. 
<laughs> like us kids, we have like crappy beds. So <laughs> we have crappy mattresses. So I was like, anytime my mom is like, hey, who wants to keep me company? I'm like, oh me, I'll go <laughs> because of the bed. <laughs> so that night I was like, okay, I'll go. And then I was like, I was done with like brushing my teeth and changing and whatnot. And then I was like, hey, I'm gonna head, head on up. And then she's like, okay. So I, oh wait, actually no, before that, I'm so sorry. When we got home, I, I walked in through the kitchen door and then I was so tired. I didn't want to look at where it happened, even though um, it was already cleaned, um, like the place was already cleaned. There, there, were, there weren't any more blood or anything, but I still didn't want to look at it. So I was walking with my hair like in front of my face, not like, not like the ring, like Samara, the not ring. like that, okay? I just had my head down like this, just like, and then my long hair was covering my face. And then I walked towards the living room. Living room is over here. Where it happened was over here. And when I was, when I was looking down, I saw like the, like a black figure in front of me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same black figure, but I just saw a black figure in front of me. Black figure, and then I, I looked up, I jerked up. I was like, what the, what in the world was that? And I was like, no, nah, it, wasn't, it wasn't us. It was that. I was freaked out, but I think I was, I was just too exhausted to do anything or to think about it. So I was like, you know what, it's whatever. So I went, I went up to my room to change and whatnot. And then that's when my mom was like, who wants to sleep with me? And then I was like, I'll, I'll do it. Um, so I went up to her room, right? Went up to her room. I was sleeping on my dad's side of the bed and I was facing towards her bathroom. So this is exactly, so my dad's side, my mom's side, and I was facing that way. And then I just felt something jumping on the bed I was by myself I was in the room all by myself and it's not like it's not like a sh like like um what you call it like earthquake movement but it was just like boom 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 it was like just like constant but I didn't want to look back and check I was so scared I was like I was terrified. So I started praying, y'all. I started praying. I was just like praying and singing like all the like church <laughs> songs that I could think of. And after a little bit, it stopped. But it it was it was jumping for like forever. What it seems like forever. And then like a couple seconds later, after it stopped, my mom came in the room. And yeah. right. And then my mom was like, I thought you were already asleep. And then I was like, no, I was about to. And then I was like, was there an earthquake? And she was like, no, I didn't feel anything. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna tell. What? Continue your plan. <laughs> He's like nudging me under the, under the desk. And I'm like freaking out like, is there something like over there? <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so that happened and I was like, oh my God, I don't think I've ever tell anyone like in detail of what happened, but um, okay, anyway, so that happened, right? Uh, the other ones that, so I think that's the only one that was kind of somewhat related. Yeah. Because of that. I don't know, babe. Shut up. <laughs> sounds like... A lot of it is related to that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know if it was actually related or not. I mean, I'm really hoping that it's not. <laughs> um, the other one. So, um, the church that I grew up in, they have this like project like building the school where they go to this one 
island in Indonesia and they, yeah, they, they build school and whatnot, right? They give electricity and, and stuff. Yeah, they build like electricity, like, um, like the grid tower and everything. Yeah. Oh. And like bring water and whatnot. So everyone in the village can have hot water. Um, if, I think a couple years after the project kind of, um, after the pilot of the project, I went to the island um, for, I don't, I don't remember. I think I was, they needed someone that could teach um, like English, dance and music. And um, I'm not bad with music. I mean, I can't read music or anything, but I mean, I could, I could carry a tune. Um, so they they were like, hey, are you interested? Do you want to go? And then I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. It's, it's fun. And this is like before I came here to to study. Um, it was like my last, I don't know, my last hurrah, my last ministry, whatever in the church, right before I I came here to study. I they didn't really, or maybe they did tell me about it. But apparently there are some people in the neighboring village that didn't really like what the church was doing. I don't know if it was jealousy or because they don't believe in God or whatever. So they would they would go to the witch doctors in the like in the um in the villages and they would start like attacking this one village that my church was essentially my church adopted right and things would happen like weird things would happen all the time so I sort of heard about it and like I said I like I've always believed in like ghosts and I uh, I believe in spirits and whatnot so I was like oh my god you know I'm not like this is this is a nightmare like I already signed up for it I already bought tickets and everything but I didn't hear about it until after. So I was like, this is a nightmare. I already signed up. I can't back down. So I packed my stuff with sleeping pills. <laughs> so, so I sleep at night because I know I would not going, like I would never sleep if I don't. Yeah. So I, I like I had sleeping pills with me and I did. I took sleeping pills every night every night around eight or nine i would start taking it so it kicked in and then i would go to sleep every night at 12 i think it i think it's exactly at 12 i would wake up every single night i think it was just your self your self maybe maybe not i don't know no. but every night at 12 i would wake up and i would feel like someone is watching me someone is like yeah that's <laughs> No, like I would feel like someone is watching me and I would grab my phone and then I would put like um, like this gospel lullaby that I used to listen to. That I, like it helped me go to sleep because um, it, it is soothing. It's super, super soothing. Um, so it helps me go to sleep. So we were there for like about a week, like me and the, me and the team, right? But after that week, after that week ended, me and a couple girls, we decided, hey, we want to like extend our trip and we want to like explore like the rest of the island because it's a big island. Um, we kind of want to explore the rest of the, like, the island. So we stayed another another week, I believe, or week and a half. We stayed another week and a half. But in, the, <laughs> in between that week and a half, they needed the driver to go back to the village to bring um, stuff like groceries and well, not really groceries, more like medicine and whatever that um, the village need, like the teachers in the village and like um, the the people that work at the pharmacy in the village. Because they also they also open like a clinic, um, like an actual clinic with doctors and like nurses and whatnot. Um, so they needed supplies. So we we went on a supply run and went back and then i was like are we are we leaving tonight <laughs> because i don't want to stay there and then they were like no we're staying tonight and then tomorrow morning we're leaving and then i was like great amazing cuz like after we left that village when my friends and i we were 
exploring the rest of the island, I could sleep. Like, I slept through the night. Nothing bothers me. I didn't feel weird or whatever. But then we came back, right? We came back that night. Again, I took the, I took the pill and fell asleep. Around 12, I woke up. Something jerked my bed. It's like it felt like my bed was, was being pulled and pushed back to the wall. That's how I woke up. And when I looked, it was at 12. I don't know what is up with 12, what time is but it? shut up. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I was, I was legitimately freaked out. I, I and then I, I looked around. Nobody was awake, right? Obviously, and yeah, I was just. It's safe to say I took another pill so I can sleep. <laughs> yeah, I think all the hallucinations and everything <laughs> were due to the pill. Yeah, that happened. On that island, fun stuff, right? But yeah, I haven't, I haven't went back to that village in years. Um, but so th I guess this is like not it. It didn't happen to me. But since we're talking about that village, so a couple years after that happened, or not even a couple years after, I think it was a year after, um, they had. What do you call it um investors they they got investors to invest in the village like in the school and whatnot and they decided hey since we're investing in this project we want to go over to the village makes sense right we want to go over to the village and we want to check it out and whatever and they were like oh yeah cool fun so these rich people they came to the village it's like especially okay so there's this lady this lady and her two kids or yeah i think it, yeah her two kids they went to the village and everyone was like <clears throat> i think she's a little bit superstitious or whatever but she's not i i mean i really don't know like if she's like a christian christian or like whatever right but the teachers, they told they told them, hey, just so you know, if later tonight somebody knocks on your door or tell you to open the door, do not open the door. And then they were like, what? And then they were like, yeah, it's been happening lately. And it's one of their one of the attacks that they're getting from the witch doctors from around the village mm. they were like do not open any doors if you hear somebody knocking or somebody telling you hey it's one of the teachers please open the door or it's one of the nurses please open the door um just don't open the door uh, that like that that freaked me out because anyways so <laughs> that night their first night on the village they were getting ready for bed and somebody knocked just light knock and then they were like we didn't hear anything and then they kept on knocking they kept on knocking they kept on knocking until it turns to banging and then they're like please open the door please open the door like the lady and her two kids they started praying they just they were just like praying right away like i think they prayed all night or something and yeah that's what i heard they left the next day because they were too scared. Wow. Which I would be too, but since you know, I think it's just people Mama ain't raised no bitch. <laughs> I think people just—they're just scared, or, or like they don't want them there. I don't know. I think so. I think that's why the witch doctors—they they were sending quote unquote these attacks because they didn't want. Um, <laughs> what is it? I accidentally bumped into it. <laughs> <laughs> She's so alert right now. She's like, oh my gosh. She's like, so freaking alert. It's like Phantom when he hears something. Like, what? What is it? <laughs> but, anyways, those are, those are my 
personal story with the exception of that lady and the kids um the investor whatever um what do you mean because i have another small little thing that i actually remember that it happened to me a lot it's not a lot what do you mean it happened to you a lot? it happened frequently like i would have a, a dream where i is it still happening today no it stopped i don't even know why but it just stopped it, it was like the same exact dream where i i was like i know it sounds weird but i was like inside a like a, like a cloud like a red cloud hmm. i was like inside a red cloud but it felt like 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 if i was like being like experimented on what the <laughs> yeah no that's scary <laughs> but it would happen frequently though when did it stop uh when i when i went back to mexico my grandpa because um he, he was sick right but it happened here in the states it happened a lot where i would i, I felt like i was like being you know like experimented on maybe you were maybe you were abducted by alien i don't know that's why you're like very in a way you're like in tune but not really if that makes sense i mean i'm crazy <laughs> i'm not saying you're crazy crazy <laughs> 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 but it, it was something that happened to me quite often that I just remembered. But it felt, it, it was a weird sensation because I couldn't wake up from it. Did you ever tell me about that? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. But I couldn't wake up from the dream though. So you had a uh, sleep paralysis. No, I, I, I literally, when I tried to wake up, it was me waking up inside, inside the dream. The same thing. So like Inception. I guess, but it was in the same like same spot. I couldn't see anything. It was just like bright and like orange with red. I remember. Should I do a, a bonus story? Sure. I mean, you have time. So. That was my bonus story. Though. That was your bonus story. Okay, so my bonus story. This was not my story. Um, not okay. It didn't happen to me. But when I was in high school, it happened to the um, to the security guard at school. My school, my high school was not fully completed building wise, was not fully completed when it was built. And then us students, we had already moved, um, moved building to the new building. And um, the security guard that used to work at the old building came to the new building because I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe um, my principal really, really liked them or like maybe because they already built some sort of like trust with each other. So whenever there's like juicy gossip or whatever, sometimes he'll tell us, they're like, oh my God, this happened, that happened. And one time, my friend, one of my friends decided to ask him, Sir, have you ever seen anything weird around the school? Because um, we've heard stuff around the school, like from other people, like drivers or whatever. Um, and he was like, no, mm -mm, nothing, never. And they were like, come on, just tell us. It's okay. This was like after school, most of the kids are gone. It was just me and my friends. We were waiting to be picked up. Um, a lot of the teachers, they were inside doing whatever, right? Doing whatever teachers do after school's done. And then so the guy was like, okay, fine. Something did happen. I don't want you guys telling everyone because I don't want to freak out the other students or whatever. But I don't remember when it happened. He was saying that this was at night. He was doing his nightly patrol around the school and he saw <laughs> underneath the exit sign on one of like the staircase or whatever. I don't remember which floor. I think it was the floor that was not finished yet. Uh -huh. He saw this ghost. She's a folklore. She is super, super like 
She's super, super popular in the ninja. I'm not going to say her name because I'm scared. Just say it. No, I'm not. Three times. No! Or whatever, how many times? No, no. Mm -mm. To summon her. Anyways, she... <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Just say it. I'm curious. I'll, I'll show you. I'll write it down. That's you. even worse. No. Okay, write it down. Write it down there on your iPad. And then it might show up there. Shut up! Why are you gonna do that? <laughs> Why is he like this? Uh, that's the thing though, like I, I, I watch scary movies, but they And I do too! They don't do anything I actually me. watch scary movies, but they always do stuff to me. I, honestly, for me, scary movies are too predictable. They're always the same. What do you mean? Yeah, the, the, you, I always am able to like most of the time predict what's gonna happen like with thrillers it's not it's different why like isn't the, my pen working i, I think know. the battery is dead so i can't write it uh, well then say it no why what's wrong with saying it okay there it's actually it's actually written there it's not where under the bonus i cannot i cannot pronounce that it's fine just try your best Puntil anak yes is that the scary one? The like, troll looking one? No, 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 no. That's no. different. That's, that's right? not the troll looking one. This is, this is the lady that lost, her, that lost her child. And so she just wanders around looking for her baby. La Llorona, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... It's basically, yeah, like 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 Yorona. Yeah, she's the scariest. For me, she's the uh, scariest. I see it. Yeah, no, I say basically. I mean, what? That's actually that's very interesting because it's literally like like Yorona. How did how did it happen? What do you mean? Yeah, what's the backstory behind it? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's like, I think it's like buried deep down in my brain. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well. <laughs> Oh, they made movies about it. Oh yeah, lots. Yeah, I guess it's the same as like the the La Llorona. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a uh, does she? What does she do? She just scary looking or what? No, she's not scary looking. Then she just she has long hair. She wears white robe, um, and I believe there should no no that's not, I think that's a different one. But yeah, she she wears she she would wear white dress. And she has long hair. And that's it? Yeah. So he was doing his patrol, whatever, and then he saw her. He saw her underneath the, um, like, the exit, whatever. At the exit sign. And, like, he just knew. Like, he, he just knew he shouldn't be talking to her. Shouldn't look at her in the face or in the eyes What or is whatever. she, Medusa? I have no idea. But she approached him. And like put out her hand to him and then I think if I'm not mistaken they were like they, they kind of they, they sort of knew that when they wanted to get to know you you should let them so you don't offend them and then they won't hurt you if that makes sense I guess so she like she stretched out her hand wanting to introduce herself or whatever why are you Shut looking up. that way? It's just Phantom. <laughs> is he like Yorona too? I mean, he is like Yorona. <laughs> so she, like, she stretched out her hand, and then she, he grabbed her hand, like, like, yeah, he shook her hand. Her cold hand. Her cold hand. Mm. And that's it. He and disappeared. Then, no, she disappeared. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, and then he ran out of the building, and he prayed. After that, he went and prayed, ran out, prayed. But apparently, like, the sightings of her or, like, set ghosts or, like, different ghosts happened a lot in the school building. Huh. Even though it was a new building. Yeah. But I think it was the land that it was, like, built on. I think. Apparently, near where my mom used to live, the bridge that they had it actually like it would like it, it would um they take they, like they when they constructed uh -huh. um it didn't last long that it basically crumbled down uh -huh. so what they did is 
apparently they buried bodies. Oh, as um, like as like offering. Apparently. Okay, so that okay things like that happen in Indonesia too, where. I mean, that's what my dad said. I, what, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I I haven't been there in a while. Well, see, that's the thing that happened n- near the bridge in my school. There's um so the, I think it's a river or something like that, but it's a like there's a bridge near the school. And supposedly, like every so often, every however years, someone would die or disappear mysteriously. Like that's the bridge's way of taking, um, like offering soul, huh. like to yeah for the area. Yeah. But I don't exactly know which bridge it is or like um, which area, but that's I that's what I heard, and I heard it from the security guard. Like, he told us that. Wait, was it him or my driver? Somebody. Somebody told me that. Well, that's it. That's the video. (laughs) Am I scared? Yeah, I am. (laughs) Will I sleep tonight? I don't think so. Probably not. I might need to watch, like, something funny, like Nacho Libre or something. (laughs) But, oh, give me one second. I need to... Also, he wants to go out. You want to take him out? No, we'll go. You and I, we are going together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the for the longest time, I wouldn't look at a tree. Like at night, I would not look up at a tree because apparently that's where the where where she would sometimes be. Wow, what is she, Spider Man? Spider Man. Do not Spider-Man. provoke her. What? Why do you why you gotta do that? Like, I mean that would be amazing if I were Spider-Man, like climbing on the trees, you know? That's a very odd. Like at least like Yorona, she just walks up and down the you know the street. Or I know like, something something would like stay in trees. Um, like in Indonesia. Like you're not supposed to look up at a isn't tree. Isn't that the troll night. looking one that you said? I know that you told me about one that that, that Well looks- a tuyul? Like I, the little kid, like um. No, the very scary one that I that you showed me. I was like, wow, that actually does look terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, continue. Uh, but yeah, for the longest time, I would like I would not look up at a tree until I came here, because I. The trees are different. <laughs> no, like I, for some reason, I was just like, yeah, no, they won't follow me here until you said something. <sighs> All I'm saying is that maybe it is the same one. Anyways, that is it. Yeah. Uh, we do have a second part of this, but it's more like full folklore uh, stories as well, or one story. That we're one story research. from each country. From- well, from our countries. From our countries. Yeah, each of our countries. So one story from Indonesia, one story from Mexico. So. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight's video. Or that's that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. If it's if it's too scary, it's okay. Because I'm scared too. I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> but let us know what you think. Yeah. Let us know if you have your own story to share. Let us know in the comments below, you know, let us know exactly like if you have ever encountered anything similar. Uh, we'll definitely make another video regarding the comments and yeah. give our feedback as to like what we would do in your situation we'll read it or and, what we yeah. think about your story, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but let us know what you think about ours and let us know if you have anything that has happened to you. Um, to you or to your family. Or, or... your family. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones no. that encounter strange no. things like that. And like I said, I personally am not, not so super superstitious. Superstitious, but uh, things happen, you know. Random things happen. And I believe we're not the only ones here on this planet. Yeah. Because I feel like the universe is way too big for us to be the only ones. I think that is just too ignorant and too prideful for humans to think, oh, we're the only ones. We're the only living creature. Yeah. Um, so. But 
like and comment, subscribe, yep. and uh, let us know. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye.